final consciousness of test subjects who died while connected to the stem combined into one single horrific shape. It attacks anything that moves, attempting to flee from certain death. So, these are also... The enemies can be a manifestation of the subjects that were tested on. Yeah. Basically. It's a mixture of, of um, Rubik's mindset and the enemies also. Haunted Group A. Human test subject connected to the stem and turned into creatures by synchronizing with Rubik's. So these are real people. I like, I, you know, reading this, see, you have to beat the game to understand, I guess, but it actually makes sense and it's pretty cool. Yeah, I had to replay it. So, so Joseph dies. He gets shot. It says, from what they're saying, they they implying that Rubik is in the real world through Leslie. might be a part two it doesn't really say what's going on but Leslie Witzers see so let's uh Rubik was interested in Leslie, which is why he wanted to get him. Well, I mean, he said that he was dead, but you're right, though. Yeah, it's, it's, it's weird. It's a lot of... There's a lot of things being thrown around. He turned Leslie into that goop. Remember, that's when he made the transfer. Yeah, Rubik is Leslie. Bad thing is that Leslie made it out. Yep, we have a part two. Yeah, remember, Leslie, when it showed, the, when it showed everybody... Everybody's mind was connected. Leslie was gone. So even though you destroyed the manifestation that was Rubik, he ended up being in Leslie's, you know, in Leslie's body already. So there might be a part two. Because clearly you see Leslie leaving at the end.
I think I, I definitely think I might play the game again and pay even more attention. That's why he was interested in them because he seems to know the way to escape. Yeah. Yep. Leslie escaped before. So that's the that's the reason why. That's the reason why he was definitely interested. Including it says right there, Leslie has always compensated for his difficulty communicating by unconsciously eliminating the thought of others. This characteristic is what Rubik sought for his experiments in linking consciousness. But when you see him at the end, his limp was gone. Yep. How much smash can we expect starting on Friday? A hell of a lot. Hell of a lot. Definitely an interesting game. It's crazy. Oh my god, what time is it? The lamp symbolizes that he wasn't himself. Damn, it's about to be 9 o'clock. Shit. When's the next ultimate Thursday, guys? The limp symbolizes that he wasn't himself. The most difficult? I don't know. I don't even remember them like that. I'm going to play the game again, though. I'll play the game again. I'll probably play it later today. Play it on the hard mode. Yeah, I died a lot. I, mo most of my deaths happened at the chainsaw. That ass. I'm about to eat some cereal again. I'm hungry. I can't believe I'm still here till 9 o'clock. Shit. I started, what, like at 11? But y'all guys know how I do, man. I will be playing this game again, for sure. Uh, later today, I need to get me some rest. I'm going to be done. How many different modes there are, Neski? Niski? Uh, it seems like there's, from what I have right now, I have, I guess, three skulls. Said ten? What was ten? How come I still only have two? Why I don't get three? Leslie had a distinctive lip, so when that was gone, it was a clear indication that Rubik has taken over his body. It's a great storyline. It's just not clear from the first playthrough, making you have to play it again. And the fact that when Seb is near him, he gets headaches.
The fact that when Seb is next to who, though, Doomsday, who are you talking about? Why one hit? Akumu, I will not play that shit. Who you who you mean Doomsday? Seb is next to who? Good shit, Doomsday. You're right. Totally right. And then he gets that he gets that slight headache as he's walking away. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely good shit. And I was definitely wrong. Play Akumu? Hell no. I was dying on survival. Alright, guys. But seriously, this is going to be the end of it here. I've been up since 11 from Mario Kart to Evil Within. Oof. Tired, man. Tired, tired, tired. I'm going to be knocked out for quite some time. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure y'all hit that follow button if you haven't hit it yet. Uh, I see a, a good amount of new people here. So, guys, hit that follow button, please. Die a thousand deaths. <laughs> I'm not trying to die a thousand deaths. But I'm definitely going to play. I'm a, Most likely, I'm going to pick Nightmare. And it's going to be harder, and I'm going to pay attention to the story even more. Now that y'all guys mention it. Gonna try a Kumu. Shit. Good luck. Chapter 6. Yes, it is too hard. Damn. Alright, guys. Thank you for tuning in once again. I am getting out of here. I'm signing off. I am tired. Oh, well. There you go. Thanks for talking, man. Appreciate it. Peace out.